hey look, we got a brand new network with brand new cabling in a brand new building. What could go wrong? I don't need any tools. Right? We're building a brand new network so we don't need any more tools. That's a good one. If you were to change something in your network, which you all do, right? New switches, new backbones, new fiber optic links from building to building, new application servers, application upgrades, hot patches, hot fixes, whatever you want to call them, service packs. What should you be doing as you go along this path? Something just very conceptually and simple. What should you be doing? Documenting what? I want something specific. Okay, I plugged in a piece of fiber in slot one, port six. Light was green, closed ticket. That's what you mean? Okay. What else? You should be ch testing against your baseline and documenting any changes in your network based on those changes. Okay. I'll give you a great example. Today we've got a server. It's underneath Ron's desk. And he got caught. So we beat up Ron, threw him down some stairs, and convinced him to buy a rack mount server in our lovely climate-controlled server room with all these racks. Okay? So now we're going to take that server out physically from under his desk in a computer room and change the box to a rack mount server. And we're going to change it from Windows 98 to Windows 2000 Professional. So what would you want to do, what would you want, what would you want to do along the way? Back it up? <laughs> okay, that's procedural. But network-wise, what would you want to do? What did you want to prove to Ron that that server ran better, faster, cleaner? How would you do that? Okay. What would you do in the baseline? Okay. It's a file server. He's sharing files. What would you do? Sure. Transfer some files. Copy a file before and let him know he was getting 7 out of 10 and now he's getting 40 out of 100. Is that better? Let him know that under his desk, because he kept running over the cable with his chair, he was getting about 40% error rate. And in the climate control room with a nice six-foot cable to a switch, he's got zero or 0.1. Don't these things make it sound like the change did affect the customer in a positive way and that it did what you said it would do? That's what we're missing, right? When we troubleshoot, when we design, when we implement, that little piece at the end that said, listen, here's what it was before and here's what it is now. Change was successful. Not, we plugged it in, the light was green, and he didn't complain, so it must be good. Close ticket. You see what I'm getting at? So depending on what the change is supposed to do, you're going from hubs to switches, 10 to 100, half to full. It's going to have some negative or positive change. You have to document that. 